So let's talk about the drone. This is the DJI Phantom Standard 3, or the 3 Standard, I should say. The Phantom 3 Standard. It's got a pretty decent range, and with the controller modifications that I made, I can send it even further than the stock controller will allow it to go. Now the problem that I have is that the other day I was using an app called Leechy. Leechy is this like $22 or $24 app on the iOS store that will allow you to do certain things with the Phantom 3 standard. This drone right here that you can't normally do with the Phantom 3 standard through the usual DJI app. It allows you to do waypoints and an orbit mode. Here's an example of the orbit mode. Although I don't have video for it, the follow me mode actually sent my drone crashing into the side of the house, leaving me with this. I was trying to get that to work, and then all of a sudden, the drone flies into the side of the house, hits the side of the house. This is hanging on by like a thread, by this one wire right here. I went online and priced out the parts that I would need to repair it. $280 for new parts to repair this drone. Just to kind of put that in perspective for all you guys, for another $120, I could have bought a brand new drone. So today, maybe about five to 10 minutes ago, this showed up. So another reason I didn't just spend the extra $120 to get a brand new drone is because I like to tinker around with things. Like this right here. I've been building my own computers for like the past five or six years now. And I gotta say that I'm pretty confident that I can do all of this. Like I'm pretty sure that I can put everything back together because it looks like a fairly simple process. But I'm not exactly confident that when I turn the drone on that it'll still function the way it did the day that I took it out of the box. Now first I want to clarify that the parts to the drone would not have cost so much. Like the camera itself, this part right here, that part didn't really get damaged all that bad. However, the most expensive part that I had to buy for all these fixes was a brand new camera. Now look at this, they look completely the same, right? Everything looks intact with both of them. This is the new one, by the way. However, with this piece, this wire right here, this little golden piece, got completely severed from the wire. Also, there's this little ribbon right here that got torn after I tried to take it apart. That little ribbon is kind of an important thing, and so was the gray wire that got fucked up in the crash as well. Also, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, but these pins right here, like several of them got bent, and there is hardly any way for me to take off of this cover right here in order to unbend those wires, and even if I was to do that, I don't know if it would still work. So we got our parts, now we just need to go get the right tools. And I'm not exactly sure where I'm gonna go just yet, but I think Walmart is probably gonna be the first stop. Got the tools, now we're gonna fix this. All right, so I kind of just thought of something. I wanted to record me fixing the drone, but at the same time, I don't want to get like too technical with it at all. And also, I don't know if I'm gonna end up fucking something up. So we're just gonna leave the camera off for this while I repair this, but there's the drone, ready for repair. Let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 